Today, we'll cover the torsional vibration and gear compressor arrangement. The gear in the middle connects the motor on the right. And on the left, the compressor is also linked to the gear. The couplings connect gear and compressor, and gear and the motor. For this case, the coupling broke as you could see in the figure. This coupling damage is due to torsional vibration. During the disassembly of the gearbox for root cause analysis, Pinion Gear 2's profile exhibited significant wear in comparison to its original. Substantial gear wear indicates high levels of tooth contact within the gear mesh. To understand the root cause, modal analysis is performed as in the Part 14 video. In left figures, modal analysis displays the mode shape of the bull gear. So the impacts between the teeth produces an energy that excites the natural frequency of the gear's structure. As the gear continues to wear, there is a noticeable increase in vibration and noise. As you could imagine, this gear wear increases the impact between the gear teeth. And it could induce beating frequency like noise. So large vibration ultimately leads to the breaking the coupling. The short term solution was replacing the gear and implementing an oil system upgrade to reduce the gear wear. Because it also turns out that the gearbox design was marginal for adequate oil film thickness. Please refer to American Gear Manufacturers Association spec on defining specific film thickness. As you could imagine, lubrication is critical to reduce gear wear and reduced gear wear can reduce torsional vibration from the gears and thus no machine failure. Also, long-term solution is to transitioning from the single helical gear to double helical gear, which can provide different natural frequency. In case of torsional vibration issues with gears, adjusting the natural frequency of the gear is an option. For example, one approach involves in modifying the gear design, such as removing the web from the gear assembly. By removing the web, additional mass of the gear changes the stiffness of the shaft and moves the critical speed out of the operating region. So this design change can prevent vibration-induced machine failure. There are many ways to monitor the torsional vibration, such as using the strain gauges. As you could imagine, there is a relationship between the strain gauge measurements to the torsional vibration amplitude. So, strain gauge can be utilized to estimating the amplitude of torsional vibrations occurring within the shaft, coupling, and many other locations. There are many examples of using strain gauge to measure torsional vibration, and few examples are shown here. There are many examples of torsional vibration-induced machine failure. Here is an example of a coupling failure due to VFD, variable frequency drive. There are smart ways to implement algorithm in the drive to minimize responses. Part 28 video offers an introduction to torsional vibration. This is all I have for you today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.